This graph is here to show how stress is illustrated in true spell. Uh, stress is needed for uh, true spell to be a pronunciation guide system because uh, stress in words needs to be shown in order to pronounce them right. In this case, there are 23 consonants, and for each consonant, we have the most popular word that has that stressed syllable in it. Uh, here's the sound B, tilde indicates sound, B, and about, double the consonant, to indicate stress on the second syllable. So the entire syllable is stressed. Ch, achieved, D, idea. Before, g again, perhaps, suggested, because, along, among, another, important, around, himself, machine, and you see you double the S because that's how you spell the consonant and you double the first letter of the dual letter consonant until without here's one that's a three letter consonant and you double the first letter so within university this one is different because it has two vowels in proximity and we separate them with an apostrophe in true spell but to show stress on the second vowel we double the apostrophe which is a quote sign and this is unique to true spell having a quote sign within a word but it shows that the second syllable the eight is stressed create between beyond present now that could also be spoken as present but this in this term in this um, way of showing uh, the verb form present and last regime and the j sound is the least used sound in American English. So that is, illustrates how we spell stress when it's not on the first syllable. If stress were on the first syllable, this would be pronounced about instead of about. And we would not need a double B for about. So whenever you see a double consonant in true spell, you know that the stress has moved off of the default first syllable because if there's no double consonant, uh, then the stress is on the first syllable. And that's all you need to know about stress with true spell.